Near the end of the road trip, as we were coming down from Oregon, we passed by Mount Shasta and stopped for lunch. We walked by a crystal shop and, in realizing it was a crystal shop, went inside. And what we found would forever blow our minds. The 13th Crystal Skull! The woman who has it is named Susan Isabel. She told us a story about how she received each half of the skull, one in 2000 and the other in 2004. The stories were very cosmic and included daring feats, government agents, lightning from the skies and cosmic children coming into alignment with the birthing of a new civilization. It was very intense. Each half of the skull represents the left brain and the right brain of human consciousness. When you bring them together, they form a human heart. Many different photos have been taken of the skulls with different energies flowing through them. In some pictures, you can see a brain within the clear crystal. Susan told us that when you merge the skulls together, you can see a living heartbeat within the crystals themselves. Although we didn't get a video of it, we took her word for it and intend on returning one day to do a ceremony with the skulls. Both Tyler and I also bought our own crystal skull necklaces whilst there, which was blessed with the energy of Sastun, the name of the 13th skull. Jose Aguilas, before he passed away, uh, he called it the, the day out of time. And in the day out of time, July 25th, we're going to ascend this mountain um, with, I'm sure, many, many other people from across the globe and interconnect as he did. He wanted to uh, produce the Rainbow Gateway to restore the Earth's polarity in the way that it ought to be. Our, the Earth has an aura, just like we have an aura, but it's in rainbow frequencies. Mm -hmm. Okay, So that is going to be our, um, our little project in July. I've been teaching my group how to, uh, to produce the rainbows, and I'm going to put you on the spot again, Leah. So one night when we were, one night when we were doing um, how to, to produce this through our aura, they had quite an experience. There were three of them in the My car. sister and my husband, we got in our car to leave, and it was already dark outside. It was nighttime. And we get in the car, and there's, it's just full of rainbows in the car. I mean, they were all over my clothes, my pants, and it's nighttime, and I don't have crystals hanging in there or anything to to do that, but it was all over the car just that night, and every now and then since then, I'll see a, a rainbow. That there's no, It's not coming from anywhere that I can see. It's kind of like a sign for me sometimes that I get, wow. but that's pretty amazing. Our whole car, the, the entire night, was filled just all yeah. over. I can't, it's just amazing. You went home and went in and came back yeah. out and there's still rainbows yeah. in the car. Yeah. Went back so. out later that night was still filled with rainbows. So those are signs. Those are These are all signs that we're on the right track. Um, the two skulls, El Eliator and El Zara, because they have the brain inside of them, are actually um, the masculine and the feminine brain. When it comes together, mm. then it forms, and it the, forms perfect the heart. heart. Of course. That's right. <laughs> it forms the heart. It was a full moon that day, and after our amazing encounter, we set off once more in search of new adventures, wondering what we would find next. <laughs>